This is Ben with bkashaaudio.com. In this video, I'll show you how to set up MIDI Learn in the Ardor Digital Audio Workstation. I have Ardor open on my screen. First, we'll click Window, Preferences, Show. This will bring up our Preferences window. In the left-hand column, select Control Surfaces. I have an MPD32 on my desk. So I'll select Generic MIDI, and then check the box to the right of it that says Enable. Click Show Protocol Settings. In this window, set the incoming MIDI to your device. In this case, it's the MPD32. We don't have to set any outgoing MIDI, because we're only sending MIDI from the MPD to the DAW to control it. We should also select Enable Feedback. This will allow us to map the control. You can exit the window. And now we can map some controls on our MPD in the Ardor Digital Audio Workstation. To map a control, hold down the Control key on your keyboard and middle click with your mouse button. You'll see a small pop-up that says Operate Controller Now. I selected the fader on the track so I'm going to move a fader on my MPD. And once I move it, the small window disappears. Now if I move my fader, it moves the fader on screen. We can do this with other functions as well. For instance, if we'd like to be able to solo the track, control click on solo, and press one of the buttons on the MPD. Now when I press the button, it allows me to solo the track. This is also useful for mapping transport controls, so you can trigger playback and stop and fast forward on your, uh, in, within Ardor. To do this, control click the transport control, and then select the button you'd like to operate it. Now, I've noticed that with the MPD32, it sends CC messages for the transport controls by default. And Ardor, when sent CC messages to the transport controls, doesn't seem to respond. So I'm just going to tap a pad for play and a pad for stop. And our transport controls are mapped. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and visit bkashaaudio.com for more tutorials.